Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I am Greg Sykes. If you're new here, welcome, welcome to this uh, channel. Um, this is not a, <laughs> this is not exactly a professional uh, studio setup here since uh, my family and I have moved here um, a few months ago. Actually, it's been longer than a few months ago. It's starting to get close to a year ago since we moved here. I have not really had a good studio set up. Um, actually, I'm going to possibly have a good studio set up at work. So, um, yeah, so maybe it will actually look a little bit more professional. But anyway, uh, having said all that, please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Man. Maniax channel. Let's get it out, folks. So, um, with that said, let's get into today's video. So, predictions. Predictions on what we think this season is going to turn out to be like. As we all know, season three is a very important season for Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera, he feels like this team has got to take steps forward. Got to take a major, major leap in Season 3. Okay, Season 1 seems like there were a lot of anomalies. No one really expected this team to do much in Season 1. You know, prior to that, the team was like a three-win team. And then after that, you know, see the first game, or the first season, I should say, under the Ron Rivera regime, the team won seven games. But guess what? That was enough to win a very poor NFC East division. So they were champions in that division. They got into the playoffs, almost beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who would eventually go on to win the Super Bowl that year. And all of that with a backup quarterback who had just gotten signed on, Taylor Heineke, uh, to the team just a few weeks prior. So, and on top of that, a defense that was ranked in the top 10 that season as well. So a very solid dominating defense that unfortunately has not produced the same outcome uh, since then and is fighting to get back to, you know, being that dominant defense that they were in 2020. That being said, now we're heading into 2022. There's a lot of pressure on Ron Rivera to get this team to take the next step forward. He has totally rebuilt this team. It's a very young team. He's got a lot of great young talent, I think, on this team. I will say I think there are still a lot of holes to be filled. You just can't possibly fill every single hole within the first season, the second season, maybe not even the third season. Uh, I think that we are still having some question marks there in linebacker position. I think we still have some question marks back in the secondary. Um, I think that... We still have some question marks maybe on the offensive line as well. Although I will say, I think our offensive line coach, he's done a great job with that offensive line because he's had to shuffle some guys around due to the fact that we have lost some fantastic offensive linemen. Of course, you know, we lost uh, Trent Williams a few seasons ago. We've uh, lost um, Brandon Sheriff last season um, he's gone now and so you know we've we've lost some guys so we've had to you know shuffle around but you know the uh, the offensive line has not done such a such a bad job so you know still a lot of question marks how well is that offensive line going to hold up um, we've gotten a new quarterback we keep having kind of a quarterback carousel you know 2020 of course um, we had uh, Alex Smith, who came back from that horrific injury. We thought he would never come back, but yet he did. Um, he came back. He made the team. Um, we thought that we were going to have um, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick got hurt in the first game of the season. We never saw him ever again. Eventually, he retired. Uh, so it was kind of a quarterback carousel. Uh, between Haskins um, and Alex Smith and Taylor Haneke. So a lot of question marks then. And, of course, last season it was Taylor Haneke throughout most of the season. Uh, so, 
you know, um, we needed a good, solid quarterback. We felt like we got a good, solid quarterback in um, certainly uh, Carson Wentz this season. And um, uh, we were able to get a still in the fifth round with uh, Sam Howe. I think Sam Howe is going to develop into a fantastic quarterback himself. Uh, and there's no pressure. We don't have to start him this year, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, but he's not having to start this year. He may not even have to play at all this year, so it's it's going to be great to have him kind of uh, stuck back there in our back pockets, and hopefully next year he may even be able to compete. Who knows? But um, So we have things looking up for the quarterback position, but how is things going to be this season? I really think that this team is definitely going to win more than seven games. I think that you're going to see, first of all, with us having an extra game, 17 games this season, there's going to be an opportunity uh, for this team to be able to win. Um, I think this team's going to win at least nine games this season. Now, is it going to be enough to get us into the playoffs? I don't know. Um, I think that we have to get into the playoffs this year. And I'll even go as far as to say not only do we have to get into the playoffs this year, I think we have to win a playoff game this year. I think that if neither one of those tasks are accomplished this year, I think it's going to be a failure of the year. I think there's that much pressure put on Ron Rivera. Now, would Dan Snyder fire Ron Rivera if those two goals are not accomplished? I don't know. Could be likely. Um, but... Considering all of the pressure that has been on Dan Snyder, he may not be up for the task at this point. Um, so, who knows? Um, Ron Rivera may be safe no matter what, but I think they're even even still think Ron Rivera is definitely putting the pressure on himself to make sure that this season is a successful season for the Washington Commanders. My prediction is that the Commanders will win nine games this season. Um, they will probably wind up being a 9-18. and 18. Um, They will somehow probably back into the playoffs. They'll upset somebody in the first round in the wild card. Um, probably will get blown out in the second round, but um, they will start gaining steam toward the middle of the season, especially if we can get guys like Chase Young back in there and playing. I think that will be anything but a mental boost Um for this team, you know, even if Chase is not going to come in there and be the Chase Young that he was before, I think that um, at least it will be a mental thing knowing that he is back and it will boost this defense somewhat. So uh, that that is my prediction. I think that we're going to have a nine-win season. Um, I think you're going to see some fantastic play from the offense. I think the defense is going to continue to struggle, especially in the early on. Uh, I think the defense has uh, not shown as much in uh, the preseason, and I think, unfortunately, we're going to continue to see that coming out into the regular season. So that being said, let me know what your thoughts are. Please share it in the comment section. And again, if you're enjoying this channel, please, please support us by subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Because if you're not hitting that notification bell, YouTube is not going to notify you when I put out new videos. And now I'm hot and heavy back into it, trying to put out videos as much as the daily basis that I can. That didn't make sense, did it? Well, I'm trying to put it mile on a daily basis. That's what I'm trying to say. So that being said, please support this channel. And if you really want to support me further, I've got other ways. I'm going to show that to you right now. Something deep inside won't let me quit I swear that I'm inspired by y'all